Today we're going to be doing a disassembly on the iPhone 4 and the first thing we're going to do is remove the SIM card tray and we're going to use a paper clip to remove it. Just stick it in the hole there, press down and the SIM card tray will come out. Then we're going to remove the two Phillips screws on the bottom. Located on the bottom of the phone are two screws. We're going to remove those with the Phillips screwdriver. Next, we're going to flip it over and then push the back to take the back cover off. After the back cover is removed, uh, we're going to disconnect the battery and there's one screw located right here. Phillips screw we're just gonna remove. take our plastic tool and we're going to remove the battery uh, connector and this will flip out this way and there's a tab on the battery and we're going to lift this out towards this way to remove the battery and the battery is taped down so be careful on how hard you pull up the battery. Now we're going to re remove the shield and holding the shield down are five Phillips screws and each screw has a different size so be sure you when you remove the screw it goes back in the exact same hole you removed it from. And this screw right here is the longest screw and that's really important that you put that screw in the back in that same hole. Okay, and then when taking the shield off, it's going to lift back that way and slide out that way. Now we're going to remove the camera and removing that we're going to flip up the uh, connector cable located right here. Put that back and the camera will lift out, up, and out. Now we'll be removing the vibrator and holding it down will be two screws and those two are different uh, size screws as well so we want to keep track which screw goes where and the screw I'm taking out now is the longer screw and the vibrator will just come straight out Now there's five uh, connector cables that we're going to disconnect. And then this cable we're going to do first before this cable because it's, it's overlapping the cable on the bottom.
Now we're going to be removing the shield which holds down the dock connector cable and holding that down is two Phillips screws and we're going to be removing those first and these two are different size screws as well and the longer one is located on the outside of the phone shield will just come off and right here is your dock connector cable I'm just going to disconnect that and underneath the dock connector cable is uh, adhesive tape that you're going to have to be careful when, uh, when removing so we'll just get our plastic tool under there and just slide it upwards and next we're going to remove the two screws located right here and here now we're going to disconnect the antenna cable from the logic board and we're going to lift the speaker assembly upwards and out and you'll see located right here is the tab which slides underneath the logic board which which when the screw is screwed into the logic board holds the speaker assembly down in place now we're going to be removing the logic board and holding the logic board down are two screws uh, there's a Phillips head screw here and there's a flathead screw located right here. The first thing, first screw I'm going to uh, remove is the Phillips. Now I'm going to remove the flathead screw. Now the logic board will lift up and out towards the bottom of the phone. There's 10 screws holding down the screen into the frame assembly. There's four located in the corner. There's one, there's two, three, and four and then your remaining six are three on the side and three on this side so we're just going to remove the screws in the corner After we got the screws out in the corner, we're going to remove the screws on the side. And there's washers holding on the screws too as well. Be sure you get the washers along with the screws. Okay, after removing the screws, we're going to remove the display portion from the frame assembly. And it is double-sided tape down here, so we're just going to get in with the corner 
more plastic tool here. And just follow all the way around the edges. You'll see the cable is located right here. When we take the display out, we want to be very careful when pulling it out because these cables are going to come out with the display itself too as well. Okay, on the reassembly, we want to make sure that the these cables and this tab right here gets fully inserted back into the, the bottom frame. So we're just going to put the cables through first. And then we want to make sure this, the cable we were talking about, gets fully pushed in. You can see it's all the way in. Then we can continue to seat the display back into the, the bottom frame. After our display is inserted back into the bottom frame, we're going to put our 10 screws back in and reassemble in reverse order.